Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a horrifying piece with a Japanese calligraphy pen, which I am quite excited to do. And I am also going to be trying to challenge myself in today's video by trying to draw this as quickly as I possibly can while still maintaining the same quality that I want. That's the goal, at least. Today I'm going to be drawing in my Soho Urban Artist Sketchbook, and as said, I'm going to be drawing with a Japanese calligraphy pen, although I will admit I have no clue what this Japanese calligraphy pen is, uh, just simply because... Uh, I, I can't read kanji, but what I will say is that it is indeed a brush tip calligraphy pen, as we can see right here. But I'm going to go ahead and get the lid back on so I can go ahead and get my notebook all opened up. Let's go ahead and flip to an open page. It's not an open page. There's an open page. And let's go ahead and get right to drawing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So I think first off, I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes. I think I want the eyes to be just about right there kind of thing, just like that. And let's go and do another one right there. And then let's go ahead and do the nose just like that. Let's go and just do a little bit of a mouth just like that kind of thing. And let's go ahead and now give them some hair, I think. Just like that. And let's go and give them a little bit of a chin. And now let's go and give them a little bit of a neck. Just like that kind of thing. And some shoulders that are just going to be going all the way down. I'm not going full body today. Let's just go and fill that in. Oh, and I'm smearing, I'm smearing some of the ink already. It is what it is. And let's just see if I can make this just a little bit more horrifying. And I'm trying to just kind of make it look a little bit sketchy by just kind of not really aiming to make all of the lines be super precise and everything like that kind of thing. That's kind of just the goal. Just like that. I'm not really sure if I succeeded in the horrifying area of this drawing, but I am still more happy with this drawing nonetheless, that is for sure. More happy than not with this drawing, uh, that is for sure. And I, I did it pretty quickly kind of thing. Do I feel like I maintained the same quality that I wanted to maintain with this drawing when compared to some of my other drawings? Ah, uh, not really, I will admit, not really. But I do still feel like this is not a bad drawing by any means, and I am definitely more happy uh, than not with it because of that reason. But I do suppose that's been the drawing. I do suppose that's been the drawing. That was my attempt at trying to draw a super horrifying drawing in today's video. I don't really think the Japanese calligraphy pen that I used is really super good for horrifying drawings. In all honesty, you're like, um, more like horror-esque drawings, I do suppose, is the right way of putting it. I don't really think it's super good uh, at, at doing those sort of drawings, I will. And it's just not it's just not really meant for drawing in general. It's meant for calligraphy. And I don't really think it's meant for um, this sort of drawing anyway. Whenever I try to do like a horror-esque piece of art, I tend to use a ballpoint or gel pen or something like that kind of thing. I don't tend to use a felt tip pen or a brush tip pen or anything like that kind of thing. And uh, I think definitely one of the reasons why it doesn't really look super horrifying is just simply because I used a brush style pen. I didn't use a, a gel pen or a ballpoint pen or anything like that kind of thing. It could all just be my uh, personal perception as well. Uh, maybe that's why I'm kind of feeling this way. But I will admit, I don't really think I succeeded at what I set out to achieve, but I by no means think that this is a bad drawing. I still do think it's a pretty good drawing, and I am decently happy with it nonetheless. Uh, so as such, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, and I do think this little smear right here honestly adds a little bit more to the drawing. I actually do kind of like that. Uh, but I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my attempt at drawing 
a horrifying piece of art in today's video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. And of course, if you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys have any constructive criticism y'all want to give me, of course, let me know in the comments down below and let me know y'all's thoughts on what I said about uh, the sort of horror style art I do. Uh, really only being uh, relegated towards uh, ballpoint or gel pens with brush tip pens and felt tip pens not working so well for it. Let me know y'all's thoughts on that in the comments down below. But until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?